There he is. Five minutes away from it. He said another guy just left to offer him a thousand bucks, so don't try that. <laughs> don't try that as in, give me 1100. Well, you know, I don't know. I'm going to play it by ear. And really? Oh, I'm losing your audio a little bit. Now. How long do you think we've had the white wagon ear for? All right, guys, it's been three weeks since we've posted and so much has happened. Not only do we have five Wagoneers, we have six Wagoneers. I haven't shown you the sixth one. I'll show you that at the end of the video. So let me start back where we had just went to go see the white Wagoneer. I almost turned this into a whole like adventure trip and I was like, I need to go get my drone and a battery <laughs> inverter because I'll edit the video in the car. <laughs> There's a couple factors going into seeing this Wagoneer particularly. One, it's the furthest one we've driven to go see. And we need to be able to walk away from it, even though we just drove two hours to see it. That's the client. They don't, they're not our customers. We're the customer. Right. We're always right. always right. Two, it's the most expensive one that we've gone to look at. So we really need to factor in the 200 plus man hours we're gonna spend getting this truck to where it needs to be before we settle on price for it. Have we looked at windshields yet? Because uh -uh. we, need, we need another one. I was looking and I think you Do you have the cardboard for the headliner? No, I don't. One's a little rough, you said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, put, I, put I thought you said it wasn't rusty. Yeah, and that's that's what she swore, zero rust, oh. you know? And so now the floors, this back here, you know, they have panels to replace this. Well, anyway, we bought it. We might have overpaid a little bit, but the frame is perfect. Let me just show you a real quick shot of what it looks like right now. Yeah, so we got a plan together. Between Brian and I, we decided that the weakest link on all of these Wagoneers is actually the floor. And we don't wanna do just a patch or a piece or a panel. We're gonna cut out the entire floor. And what we figured out is that we wanted to put in 12 gauge steel. Now, what we had to do was for one, convince DJ that this was a good idea. Huh? It's a lot of work. Mm, good work. Yeah, good. But we're gonna go on the boat next year and talk about it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Regardless if he thinks it's a good idea or not, he's helping us. Brian called it a super floor the other day. We are also might call it the shotgun floor because it's 12 gauge steel, but we're gonna do it in such a way that we can replicate it for the other trucks. You saw where the white Wagoneer is being left right now. So next video is gonna be a whole new level of work being done to it. So please, if you could like and subscribe, that would help us a lot. Thank you.